I know it's a bit surreal, still can't believe what's just happened. Um, I think Henry just said we put on 130 partnership, um, whatever came in and properly smashed it. So, yeah, it was really good to get over the line. Yeah, me and Tammy said we're just going to bat positively and if it's there, go for it, hit our strengths. Um, I think I lost my shape a bit early on and then once I started hitting a few boundaries, it just kept flowing and a bit of luck went my way tonight as well. I think they were trying to keep me in. I was <laughs> just trying to give Danny a strike. But, um, yeah, really special night tonight to, to chase that down. Um, to be honest, at halfway, I thought, oh, this, this is going to be a real tough ask. Super school with pressure, but um, I knew the girls would fight hard and we need someone to, to go big, and, and Danny did exactly that. Um, I was perfectly happy to play second fiddle to her and uh, the way she was striking it. Some of the shots, I had to pick my jaw up off the floor, I think, and uh, you're a bit surprised when you're 99, weren't you? Uh, mm, I couldn't quite realise. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily, carried on. Um, and yeah, to finish that job, really proud of the girls and and how we finished it we obviously set out after we lost those ashes to try and finish 8-8 and, and to do it in, in that emphatic style is uh, really pleasing yeah really good obviously we're, we're still really disappointed about those ashes but to turn it around so quickly after that uh, the disappointment in North Sydney and, and let the ashes slip away um, but we knew we wanted to, to obviously come away with some pride and, and finish strongly and to do that um, and to finish 8-8 it's a it's a tour we can be proud of. Obviously, we're gutted we haven't got those ashes back, but um, yeah, we're, I'm proud of the girls and how, how they fought on a tough tour. Oh, I, th I think it's a fair result. I think um, to finish 8-8, I think both teams played some brilliant cricket. Uh, I think Megan Shirt was was outstanding. I'm quite surprised she didn't get a player of the series, to be honest. Um, but I think yeah, it's a fair result. Obviously, we we didn't start very well, um, and that's what cost us in the end losing those first two ODIs. We, we was going to be struggling to to force a result, but um, the girls have fought so hard and, and tried to stay in it as, as much as they can. But um, yeah, in the context of the series, I think it's a fair result. 8-8. Yeah, like I said, I was quite surprised. I was surprised Megan didn't get it. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm proud. I think um, it's been a, a tough series. It's been quite long, and um, to to keep performing uh, with the bat has, has been key for me. And um, it's it's how I obviously want to do as, as captain. It's important. I'm, I'm scoring runs, and um, I feel like I've been hitting them well and uh, made a few changes obviously since the World Cup um, in terms of my technique. And and I'm, and I'm obviously glad that they've paid off. And um, yeah, just nice to, to get a few runs and, and lead the team in that way. Um, yeah, I've worked really hard on my game since Mark Robinson and Ali Maiden have come in. I um, feel a different player nowadays, really. Um, and to get the chance to open the batting um, and come in at number six in the first game, um, felt really confident. And yeah, I feel in a good place in my cricket at the minute. No, I was just focused on the ball, really. Just get the same sort of focus. And then looked at the scoreboard and I was on 95 and I was like, Trev, what's going Trev, on? Trev, 95! <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just pretty chilled out there, to be honest. And I kept asking Trev how many we needed. Um, yeah. <laughs> did you stress at all when you hit, realised the 95 bit? Um, 99. I did actually, <laughs> I was a bit one. stressed at 95 and 99. And then luckily Pez bore me a nice wide one to get the 100.